Welcome back to day three of the Canadian Long Track Championships. This is the first pairing of 10 pairings in the 1,000 meter women races. Starting in the inside lane from Alberta. Welcome Laurel Hall. And in the outer lane also from Alberta, say hello to Annie Bourgeois. And we're off a good clean start here, the 200 meter mark, Annie Bourgeois in a 1975, Laura Hall in a 20.1 for the 1,000 meter, two and a half laps around here to start off the 1,000 meter women's race. Today I'm joined up in the timing booth with the legend and world record holder, Ted Jan Bloman. Hello, Ted. Hi, thank you. Uh, Ted's yeah, I'm here. Yeah, Ted's <laughs> gonna join me. A long distance skater, but is extremely knowledgeable about the sport of speed skating, is going to join me throughout the 1,000 meter women's races and the men's. And uh, right now we've got Laura Hall and Anna Bourgeois, which are down to the back stretch and about ready to finish off the second corner as they head to the straightaway and into the finish line. Bourgeois crosses the line at 119.29, just missing a personal best by four one hundredths of a sec. Laura Hall in at 121.1. Congratulate Laura Hall with a new personal best. In the second pairing. Starting in the inside lane from Alberta, say hello to Abby Young. Emmanuel Cote. Okay, we got the first 200 meter split. Abby Young in at 20.07, Emmanuel Cote 20.11. I was just talking to Ted Jan, who's going to be with me for this afternoon, and I thought there was a bit of puddle of water on the ice, but he said it's a reflection of the ice. Ted, give me some indication of just the ice conditions right now for these racers. It, uh, it has looked like the last couple of years uh, the Calgary Olympic Oval struggled a bit with the ice, but uh, it's been really fast this weekend. And I've talked a little bit about the ice makers or the ice meisters, some of the best in the world right out of Calgary because they've been at this since 1988. Hard to believe, only three years after they built the first oval in Germany in 1985. What was the first oval you competed at? <laughs> uh, I, I grew up in Holland and I, I competed in uh, Den Haag and uh, Utrecht. Well, there's eight ice uh, ovals or uh, um, uh, dome ovals in the Netherlands. And let's finish off the race here. And what do we got for time? Emmanuel Cote across the line at 121.39. And that is a personal best for Emmanuel. Abby Young at 121.49. And that's also a personal best, season best. Ladies and gentlemen, personal bests are falling in the first two pairings of the 10 pairings of the 1,000 meter races for the women's. In the third pairing, starting in the inside lane from Alberta, Hee Won Song. 
And in the outer lane from British Columbia, Carolina Hiller. All right, let's look at the first 200 meter times. 18.66 for Carolina Hiller. He won song in at 19.02. I want to ask Ted again, still with the ice surface, when you are warming up for your races, can you tell if you're going to be skating on fast ice or slow ice, and how do you adjust? Well, mostly you just look at the pairs that go before you to see if it's fast, but you also feel a little bit with the ice. You can feel how your skate digs in and how crisp it feels. And uh, sometimes that gives you a really good feeling. Be slow, do you adjust your race accordingly and just fight your way through it? Well, for the thousand meter we're looking at right now, you just go all out. There's, uh, there's no holding back or no adjusting for slow ice. You just have to go all out. I want to ask you how different the training is from a 1,000 meter skater to a 10,000 meter skater. But right now we're going to watch the finishing touches of this race. Crossing the line first is Carolina Hiller at 118.37, which is a season's best for her. And he won song at 122.72. We now move to the fourth pairing of 10 pairings of the 1,000 meter race at the Canadian Long Track Champions. If you just joined us on YouTube feed, CBC and Facebook in the inside lane in this race from Quebec, Rose Lalabotterroi. Ophélie Junot. All right, in the first 200 meters, Rose Lalabertewat, 1859, tops in the group so far, Ophelia Juno at 1986. I'm here with Ted Jan Bloman, 5,000 meter world record holder and a number of, and a gold and silver Olympic medalist in the 10,000 and 5,000, respectively. Ted, you're a long distance skater, 12 and a half. These skaters are only doing two and a half laps. I want to start a conversation about how different is the training between a long distance skater and basically a long distance sprinter, I guess, if I can say it that way. Well, even though the dis distance is very different, there's a lot of overlap still. The speed skating technique is, uh, you have to be efficient with it, and it's, it's fairly similar for long distance and short distance. Uh, so we work a lot on that. Um, but for the 1,000 meter, speeds are higher. You're going to need a little bit more strength training and um, uh, also some endurance for the second lap. All right, we'll pick up on that as Lalibert Dubois crosses the line at 118.38, and that's a personal best for Rose. Lalibert Dubois, no feel as you know, crosses the line at 120.85 for a season's best. Congratulations, ladies.
in the fifth pairing of this 1,000 meter race, starting in the inside lane from Quebec, Valerie Molte. And in the outer lane from Manitoba, Lindsay Kent. Okay, let's check in for the 200 meter uh, time. Malte in at 18.69, Lindsay Kent in at 19.31. I want to pick up where I left off with Ted about endurance uh, versus sprinters. Do you want to keep girls we're looking at right now, they're also doing the three Ks and the five Ks, and um, they have a little bit better endurance uh, than most of the sprinters here. So we're going to see if they can do a really fast last lap. All right, let's look at their lap time. So we're looking at Malte at 27.48, Kent at 28.7. I watched your 10,000 meter race yesterday. You kept it under 29 for almost the entire race. How was that possible when a lot of skaters struggle to do it for even for the 5,000 or 1,500? How is that possible? What kind of training is involved? Well, it's all about efficiency, right? You wanna, you wanna make it as easy as possible for yourself to, uh, to maintain those lap times. All right, crossing the line first is Valerie Malte at 114.95. Lindsay Kent at 117.92. Malte crushes her personal best by three seconds. And Lindsay Kent at 117.92, just off her season's best. Ted tells me that's the sixth time Valerie Malte has achieved a personal best this season. Sorry, the sixth fastest time of the season. My apologies. Correction. Can I have a visual, please? In the sixth pairing. In the inside lane from Saskatchewan, Cali Christ. And in the outer lane from Quebec, Gabrielle Jelinek. All right, let's check in on the 200 meter mark. Gabrielle Jelinek at 1896, Kali Christ at 19. Ted's just stepped away. I'll take it from here. Malte crushes her personal best by three seconds in the sixth fastest time this year for the 1,000. Congratulations, Valerie. Well, if you've just joined us on YouTube or Facebook or the CBC feed or you're live here, you're watching the 1,000 meter race. Let's look at the lap times. 28.17 and 28.49, a great clip for Chris and Jelinek. They're looking to probably best their personal best. We're looking at 118 or better for these two skaters. As they head down the back stretch, having the last comments in connection with their coaches, heading in around the final corner. is Cali Christ at 116.87. Gabriel Jelinek at 117.97. Christ, a personal best at 116.87. At 117.97, same for Gabriel Jelinek. Personal bests are falling left, right, and center today, ladies and gentlemen. In the seventh pairing, in the inside lane from Alberta, Brooklyn McDougall. And in the outer lane from Saskatchewan, Marsha Hudy.
All right, the first 200 meters, Marsha Hootie in at 1764, McDougal in at 18. These skaters are flying down this oval as they head down the backstretch. One and a, two and a half laps in this 1,000 meter race here at the Canadian Long Track Championships. We'll see a full split lap time here in a moment. And they'll get the bell lap, and here goes. There, there's the bell, and the times are 27.55. Brooke McDougal has the fastest lap time so far, and Marcia Hudy's in at number two. This is going to be a close race right to the wire as the beautiful technique of speed skating down the backstretch they go. Their last connection with the coaches. McDougal's personal best is 116.29, and Hudy's in at 115.64. Can they continue, can personal best continue to fall here at the Canadian Long Track Championships? Here they come to the end, down the stretch. Crossing the line, McDougal. And guess what? Another personal best, Marcia Hudian at 117.09. A personal best for Brooklyn McDougal. Congratulations. In the eighth pairing, of 10 pairings in the 1,000 meter Canadian Long Track Championships, starting in the inside lane from Manitoba, Alexa Scott. And in the outer lane from Alberta, Madison Pearman. All right, we're coming up to the 200 meter mark with twos to go. Alexa Scott at 18.55, Madison Perriman at 18.57. These two skaters are looking like they're gonna push each other to the lowest possible time. Alexa Scott has a 116.30 PB and a 116.02 for Madison Perriman. They're very close indeed in terms of time. There's the bell lap, and let's have a look at their lap time. We're looking at 27.48 for Perriman and 27.92 for Scott. And that is considered a very, very low time. That may put them in a position to bust their PBs, but let's find out. They're heading to the final corner. You can hear the crowd screaming. Crossing the line first. 60. And Alexa caught 115.85. Ladies and gentlemen, best races for these two skaters in this distance in their career so far. Congratulations, Alexa Scott. Congratulations, Madison Perriman. Well done. Tons of fun to watch. In the ninth pairing, in the inner lane from Quebec. Beatrice LaMarche. And in the outer lane from Alberta, Kaylin Irvine. Okay, the first 200 meters, Kaylin Irvine in at 17.93, Beaches Lamarche in at 18.39. I was just talking with Ted here off air as to why these times are, are lower. Number one, the ice is really, really fast. Well done by the Ice Meisters. Secondly, the skaters are getting better and better and faster and faster. They're serving notice, ladies and gentlemen. This is an Olympic year. Many of them want to go to the ice ribbon in Beijing in February of 2022. We're seeing 
Irvine's got the fastest lap time so far to 27.33. We're seeing incredible race times today and everybody's keeping an eye on them. Down the back stretch they go, the last connection and communication with their coaches, heading to the final corner and then off to the finish line. First is Kaylin Irvine at a 115.39, which is a season's best. Beatrice LaMarche at a 116.65, which is a season's best for Beatrice as well. Let me introduce to you to the 10th and final pairing of the 1,000 meter women's race in the Canadian Long Track Championships. Starting in the inside lane from Ontario, Evenie Blondin. And in the outer lane from British Columbia, Abigail McCluskey. Something wasn't right at the starter level, and we're going to redo it. Okay, here we go. The tenth and final pairing. Evenie Blondin at 1863. McCluskey in at 1908. Two and a half laps. Evenie Blondin is a mastered world champ, and she has tremendous speed and endurance. Exactly what you need to compete at a high level in the 1,000 meters. Blondin's lap time. Blondin's lap time is 27.87. McCluskey in at 28.93. The bell has been rung. We're in the final 300 meters of the 1,000 meter, the 10th and final pairing. We got a 114.18 personal best. Can even he best that? 115.60 for McCluskey. Here they come into the final corner. Right to the wire. The the skate crosses the line, Evenie Blondin at 115.63, McCluskey at 118.75. And it's that quick, ladies and gentlemen, because these speed skaters are that quick. I didn't do a count, but a lot of personal best fell of these 10 pairings of the 20 skaters. I would say close to seven or eight of them. Malte takes the lowest time at 114 and 95. Valerie Malte from Quebec. Kaylin Irvine, the second fastest time at 115 and 39. And Madison Perriman with a crushing record of her personal best. And the third place. Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do uh, rice ice resurfacing is what we're going to do. Ice resurfacing, um, and we're going to be back here uh, on the air. Let me just check the time. 
at 1650, so that's 10 minutes to 5 or 450 Mountain Daylight Time if you've joined us on uh, YouTube. And we'll have a medal presentation. We've got the legendary uh, uh, Susan Ock, who's the CEO of Speed Skating Canada, will also be handing out uh, the medals this afternoon. So unless I'm told differently, it will be after the ice resurfacing, but before the men's 1,000 meters. I don't know about you, but I'm excited up here in the timing booth, ladies and gentlemen. That's some awesome skating. You've seen the fastest long track skaters in Canada, right here at the Calgary Olympic Oval. And Olympic Ophals, some of the fastest in the world. You're watching in Beijing in February 2022 at what they call the Ice Ribbon. Let's get some music on.
Okay, I guess it's award presentation time. Just let me get set up here for a moment. We are now going to present the top three fastest times for the women 1,000 meters. We um, have um, the individual pre presenting the awards is the legendary Susan Ock. Uh, let me just talk a little bit about Susan first. Uh, well, she is the CEO of Speed Skating Canada. She had an amazing career competing in many Olympics over a long career. Uh, started her career in the 1988 Olympics, not started her career, but competed in the 1988 Olympics and got a bronze medal in the short track. Uh, and then a silver medalist in Lillehammer and Nagano uh, in 1994 and 1998, an illustrious career, and that was in the 500 meters. She's been inducted into the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame, the Olymp Olympic Hall of Fame, the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame, and you know you've made it when you have an oval named after you. Give it up, first of all, for our presenter, Susan Ock. The last thing she wanted me to be doing. All right, Susan, let's start with the third fastest time. A young lady who I've met over the last couple times I've been in Calgary, a lovely lady from Pinoca, Alberta, who just crushed her personal time at a time of 1.15.60. Third place time, Madison Pearman. In second place, from Alberta, at a 115.39, give it up for Kaylin Irvine. And a race of all races, this young lady from Quebec. Point one two before today, but crushed it and finished off our first place time of one fourteen and ninety five. The fastest time, the fastest one thousand meter woman in Canada, Valerie Malte. Great racing, ladies. Congratulations, Valerie, Kaylin, and Madison. Say hello to the camera. If the lens can see you, you can see it. And to all the other races, congratulations. What an afternoon of racing, both live in the Oval and on the feeds from YouTube, Facebook, and CBC. Coming up in nine minutes' time, the 1,000-meter men's races. Hang on to your hats. The times are about to get faster.
five time for the 1,000 meter men race at the Canadian Long Track Championships. Well, you know what's coming up next in three minutes' time. The 1,000-meter men's race in the Canadian Long Track Championships. Who's going to be crowned the fastest male on skates for two and a half laps around a 400-meter oval? Valerie Malte takes the female crown. Who is going to take the male crown? Two minutes to start time. Two minutes to start time, Mark Poulin will be the starter for today. The track record is 106.51. Will that fall? That's from Hall. Is the track record holder here in Calgary, set in 2017. Let's settle in as we move towards the start time in less than two minutes. All right, we have 10 pairings in this 1,000 meter men's race. This is the first pairing, obviously. Starting in the inside lane from British Columbia, Nicholas Hiller. And in the outer lane from Quebec, Cedric Brunet.
We've got two fast skaters in pairing number one. Cedric Brunet at a 1665, 200 meter Nicholas Hiller at 1725. Brunet came off a crushing personal best in the 500 meters by a full one second. What's he gonna do in the 1,000 meter, two and a half laps around? His PB is 110.74, which is also his season's best. Nicholas Hiller at a 110.14 will be his PB. Can these guys, like the women, start knocking down their personal best with the bell lap and less than 400 meters to go with a lap time of 25.6 for Brunet and Hiller at 26.59 as they go down the back stretch in the final corner? What's it going to be in pairing number one? Here comes Brunet. Crossing the line first. 43, and that is a personal best for Brunet. Nicholas Hiller at 112.65. Brunet is having an outstanding Canadian Long Track Championships. Two personal bests, one in the 500 and one right now. Congratulations, Cedric. In the second pairing of 10 pairings, starting in the inside lane from Alberta, Max Halleck. And in the outer lane from Ontario, Hayden Mayu. We have two false starts in this race. We'll get a ruling on this. Two false starts for Max Halleck. And it's unfortunate. Okay, in this pairing, it's Hayden Mayer that will fly solo throughout this race. I don't Okay, let me get caught up on the race here. Mayor 18-12 for the first 200 meters. He's at 44-29 with a lap time of 29, 26.17. Unfortunately, Max Halleck was DQ'd on the second fall start. Really unfortunate. No one wants to see that. That has happened, though, unfortunately. But here we go. Mayor has a personal best of 110.03, not being pushed by any other skater. Let's say how he finishes up. He's going to cross the line with a time of 111.00. 10, 11, 10. Not quite his personal best, but a season's best by four one hundredths of a second.
in the third pairing of 10 pairings. Starting in the inside lane from Alberta, Frank Roth. And in the outer lane from British Columbia, Jacob. If you've just joined us, we're in pairing number three, Frank Roth from Alberta, Jacob Grain from uh, British Columbia. The two fastest 200 meter starts, Frank Roth at 1651 and Jacob Graham in at 1663. Roth has a personal best of 110.01, which is also his season's best actually. And Graham is at 109. So it'll be interesting. Fantastic uh, lap times. 2541 and 2562. Let's see how these lap times hold up. Be interesting if Frank Roth benefit a little bit from Jacob Graham's draft as they round the final corner into the finish line. And crossing the line first is Frank Roth at 109.82. And Jacob Graham at 110.82. That'll be a season's best for Jacob Graham. But for Frank Roth, you, that applause you heard, 109.82. Best is personal by, one, by about three one-hundredths of a second. Congratulations, Frank Roth. Well done. In the fourth pairing of these 10 pairings in the 1,000-meter race, starting in the inside lane from British Columbia, Anders Johnson. And in the outer lane from Quebec, Hubert Okay, the first 200 meters, Hubert Marcotte in at 16.79, Anders Johnson in at 17.02. 1,000 meters, it's two and one half laps around the 400 meter oval. First 200 meters and then two laps after that. They're one and a half laps in. There is the bell lap. Marcotte. On a lap time, Johnson in at 25.32. Johnson's got a personal best of 109.88 and Marcotte in at 110 even. Let's see how they do. Personal bests are falling all afternoon long. Let's hope it continues. The skaters want it. The fans want it. The coaches want it. Crossing the line first, Hubert Marcotte at 108.59. He's happy with that because that's a personal best. And same for Anders Johnson, 109.73. Just sneaks in underneath his personal best. Gentlemen, congratulations. The time to beat is Hubert Marcotta, 108.59. Johnson in at 109.73. And Roth in at 109.82. In the fifth pairing, coming up, starting in the inside lane from Ontario, Jake Leiteman. And in the outer lane from Kella.
Okay, we got Fuel and Weiderman. Fuel has got the top 200 meter time at 16.4. He's flying around the ice. Weiderman is at 17.13. I noticed Krista Fiola had a one hand on the ice for his start. Legendary Will Dutton used to do that a lot. He studied starts and had some of the fastest starts in the world. And no doubt that's caught on with other skaters. Weideman and Fiola on five is Weideman's personal best. And Fiola at 108 47. We got a fast lap time for Fiola. Let's see if he can hold that in and see if we can get some more personal best falling here as they head to the final corner and in to the finish line. Crossing the line, 108.97 for Weinemann, 109.81 for Fiola. Fiola gets a season's best out of that, but Weinemann gets a personal best. Congratulations, Jake Weinemann. In the sixth pairing, Starting and finishing in the inside lane from Manitoba, Jess Newfeld. And in the outer lane from Velacroix. All right, Boisvert, Lacroix with the fastest opening time of 16.18 in the 200 meters. Newfeld in at 6.17.25. Boisvert, Lacroix is noticed for his fast times in the sprints. Newfeld's got a personal best of 109.33. Boisvert at 107. That's the bell lap with less than 400 meters to go. Their lap times is just over 25 seconds. Here comes Boisvoir Lacroix, crosses the line at 109.95, Newfeld in at 110.07. In the seventh pairing, starting and finishing in the inside lane from Ontario, Vincent De Hetra. And in the outer lane from Alberta, Paul Coderre. Okay, the opening time for Vincent de Hathra is 1701. Coderre is at 1715. Vincent de Hathra is the Canadian record holder here, set in 2017 with a time of 10672, which is also his personal best. Not far off the track record um, here in uh, Calgary. He's also posted the third fastest time in the world so far this season.
All right, we're rounding out the race. Let's see if they can beat their personal best. We're looking at 106.72 for Dehatra. He crosses a line at 108.02, which is a season's best for him, and Coderre's in at 111.14, which is a season's best for him as well. Coming up, the eighth pairing of 10 pairings in the 1,000 meter men's race, starting and finishing in the inside lane from Manitoba, Tyson Langlar. And in the outer lane from Alberta, Gilmore Junio. Out of the first corner into the first 200 meters, Junior Wynn with a 16.22. 200 meters, Langlar at 16.93. I noticed Junior started a lot like one of the other skaters when the hand on the ice, just like Will Dutton used to do. A personal best for Langlar is 108.69 and Junior at 108.39. Let's hope they can hold it. Here's the bell lap here. Let's check out their lap time, 25.24. Langlar's picking up his speed with a lap time of 25.06. Even though Junior had a faster start time, this is going to be close. Their PBs are Stretch they go, their last communication with their coaches. Now it's all up to them in the final corner of the 1,000 meters. Here they come. Looks like Tyson's going to take the placing and the time 108.14 with a personal best and a season's best junior win at 109.99. Congratulations, Tyson Langlar. That's a personal best. You know it, and we know it. In the ninth pairing, the second last pairing of the 1,000 meter men's in the Canadian Long Track Championships, starting and finishing in the inside lane from Quebec, Antoine Gelano Beaulieu. And in the outer lane from Quebec, Laurent Dubro. All right, Dubray with the fastest opening time at 50.92 by a full second. He is on fire as a rocket. Antoine Gelio Bullo at 16.81. Laurent Dubray is off to an amazing start here in this 1,000 meters. Let's see. He is the crowning champion of the 500 meters. Will he maintain that in the 1,000 meters? There is the bell lap of the time at 24.36. Ladies and gentlemen, you can get excited about this race right now watching Laurent Dubro. Antoine Gelino Bolio is right there. Down the back stretch, the last communication with their coach. This is exciting. What's it going to be? Coming out the final corner. Here comes Dubro. His personal best is 106.76. He's going to cross the line at a time of 107.29 for a season's best, but off his personal best. 108.10 for a season's best for Antoine Gelino Bullio. Gentlemen, thank you for making that race incredibly exciting. This is the 10th and final pairing and the last race of the day for the Canadian Long Track Championships in the 10th pairing in the inner lane from Alberta, Connor Howe. 
skating and finishing in the outer lane from Quebec, David LaRue. All right, the opening 200 meters for Connor Howe. 16.77, David LaRue at 16.38. Connor Howe's personal best is 107.44. David LaRue's in at 107.71. And there is the bell lap, 24.91. Creeps under 25 seconds. David LaRue in at 25.7 as they head down the straightaway. Coming down the final corner. Crossing the finish line first with a time of 108.28. 108.28 is Connor Howe and David LaRue in at 109.3. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're not done just yet. That's 10 pairings in the men's 1,000 meter. Laurent Dubray with a fast time of 107. 29, his 600 meters was almost on a world record pace. Vincent de Hetho. Two and Antoine Gelino Beaulieu in the third fastest time of 108. We are going to do an ice repair right now, and then following the ice repair, we are going to have a re skate. Max Halleck will be have the opportunity to re skate 1,000 meters, and that's coming up, and I'll keep you posted. Ice has been repaired by the Ice Meisters. Halleck, so the official introduction, skating in the inside lane from Alberta. Give it up for Max Halleck. Okay, Alec, Max Alex's opening time is 17.24. He's got a personal best time of 110.29. He has a season's best of 111.46. Give him the cheers as he goes down the front stretch here in front of the stands. His coach will look after him on the back stretch. Here he comes down the front stretch. We'll check out his lap time. He's got the bell lap right now, 26. 22. Halleck with less than 400 meters to go. Can he best his 110.29 time or a season's best 111.46?
Down the back stretch, last communication with his coach and out of the corner, here he comes towards the finish line. Here comes Halleck, ready to cross the line. That tip of the skate crosses the line, a time of 111.89, just off his season's best by four one hundredths of a second. Still a good race. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. The YouTube feed. YouTube feed. Uh, of some sort, you've just witnessed some incredible fast times in the 1,000 meters. I had an opportunity to have Ted Jen Bloman up here in the timing deck, both on the air and off the air, and learned a lot more about the sport of speed skating. Ted Jen Bloman is the 5,000 meter world record holder. Um, he's also a gold medalist and silver medalist in the 2018 Pyeongchang Olympics, uh, 10,000 meters in the gold and 5,000 in the silver. And he's the former world record holder in the 10,000 meters. In fact, he got a track record yesterday in the 10,000 meters. So Ted Jan Bloman, thank you very much for being up here in the timing booth with me. He'll be skating the 1500 meter with tomorrow. Okay, let's just summarize the results. We're going to have a medal presentation here shortly. Um, so the third fastest time was Antoine Jeanel Beaulieu, uh, and the second fastest time is the Canadian record holder Vitor De Hetra, uh, and uh, Laurent De Bro uh, with the fastest time. And uh, shortly we're going to have medal presentations, and they'll be given out by the legendary. Ska speed skater and CEO of Speed Skating Canada, Susanok, momentarily.
Jill, we're going to have the medal presentation. Yes? Jill, present medal presentation? I believe we have a medal presentation coming up at some point. If we are having a medal presentation, we'll need Susan Ock and three of the fastest skaters in Canada. It's time. Okay, I think we're about ready to have a medal presentation. Is that correct? Okay, I'm going to give. Um, okay, we're we're about to present the medal to the 1,000 meter men's top fastest times because one of the. The achievements of the Canadian Long Track Championships is the crowning of the fastest skater in each of the disciplines. Handing out to today's awards is CEO of Speed Skating Canada, Susan Ock, a native of, a native of Winnipeg, Manitoba, a speed skater herself. For twice in speed skating circles, competing at many Olympics, a bronze medalist in the 1988 Winter Olympics right here in short track and a silver medalist in Lilyhammer and Nagano in 1994, 1998, in the 500 meters. She's been inducted into the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame, the Olympic Hall of Fame, the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame, and you know you've arrived in the sport of speed skating when they name an oval after you. There's not a chance that'll have her happen in my life. Give it up for Susan Ock, our medal presenter. Do we have three skaters down there? The third fastest time with a time of 108.10. Give it up for Antoine Gelinobilio. In the second place, and the reigning Canadian record holder in the long track championships with a time of 108.02. Give it up for Vincent de Hatra. And this guy's having an awesome Canadian Long Track Championships as he was crowned the fastest 500 meter racer in Canada on ice. And now he gets to say he's the fastest 1,000 meter racer with a 600 meter time of close to world record time. With a, with a 1,000 meter time, a full race time of 107.229, 107.29. Give it up from Quebecer Laurent Dobray. Congratulations, gentlemen. Antoine, Vincent, and Laurent. Exciting racing for us today. And Susan will give you the medals.
Big round of applause for these gentlemen. Great meet so far. Way to make this sports exciting. You're beautiful speed skaters, gentlemen. That's a wrap. Day three of the Canadian Long Track Championships here at the legendary Calgary Olympic Oval and day one of Oval International. And guess what? You thought today was exciting. We get to do it all over again tomorrow. Good night. God bless. And have a great evening. We'll see you right up here tomorrow.